Welcome in, Mario. Thank you. I should have sat in the back, but... <laughs> yeah. I should sit in the back and you should drive me there. I know. I was, was, was going to make a joke, like, my boss is driving me around. <laughs> well, that's fine. What's, uh, what do you got in the works for today, man? Well, I ordered a really cool uh, Urus spec. Uh, this is be our fourth Urus. Which is super sick, by the way. Um, for your seatbelt up, please. So I ordered a, a new, it's a, so every year, so we have the, I believe there was 19 Uruses. I think my first red one was a 19. And there was a 20. And I was a 21. So for 21, they've opened up the color banks a little bit. And uh, they've allowed us to do some more customizing inside with the ad personum. So we're going to spec a Urus that uh, is going to be my fourth one. Uh, I sold my red one. I sold my wife's white one. We bought a yellow one for the company to rent and we end up selling that one. This one's gonna probably end up being one of my wife's cars. Maybe mine too, I don't know. I've been really trying to get a Cullen in recently. I got like this Rolls Royce kit going, so who knows? I made an offer on a couple of Cullen ins. Maybe we'll pick one up. It just, right now, it's a really hard time to buy cars. Now, uh, cause everyone's gonna ask, why do you keep going in and out of Urus's? You know, it's really funny. And actually, um, I keep going in and out of all my cars because, you know, you can't, I don't like to lose money, right? Now, Urus's, Uri, multiple Urus have, uh, they, they come and go, right? They, the market fluctuates. Now I thought it'd be a really good idea for me to become one of those like internet gurus to teach everybody how to like buy and sell cars, what cars depreciate, what cars don't. So if everybody uh, that's watching this video, all 20 of you uh, can just maybe make a, like a small vote for that. If you guys want me to make like some kind of course uh, that you know we would produce and teach you guys how to buy cars. That'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't mind doing it But I bought the red one at uh, I spec'd all of these cars and uh, I bought the red one for 235,000 I was able to get a discount from the dealer and I got that car October 2019 I literally got the first one I period and uh, I got a little bit of money off MSRP and then I sold that red one to um, uh, the hip hop artist Tyga uh, through a uh, through a broker, but I sold him that car and I actually sold it to him for twenty thousand over MSRP. So I was able to get basically ten off, twenty over. So I drove the car for four thousand miles and I made thirty thousand dollars. So that's a pretty cool opportunity. So I went back to the dealer and I bought the white one. Now the white one was stupid loaded, it had everything. It had the uh, the uh, split seats in the back with the recliners and all that stuff. And uh, that one I got for 35,000 off MSRP. I drove that one, uh, my wife drove it about 2,500 miles and I put about 2,000 miles on it after she went and got a uh, Tesla back. And that one there, I sold, so that was a 255 MSRP. So I bought it for 220, I sold that one for 240 with uh, 7,000 miles. So that one was a really, really, really cool car too. And then I ended up getting a new one from uh, Hawaii for 215, which that was a 232 MSRP. And um, that one I didn't sell for more money, but we rented that one. So we put 10,000 rental miles on it, which we were able to you know, earn a, a profit from those rental miles. And we sold that car for 200. So with the $15,000 depreciation and 10,000 miles, uh, rental miles, you can't really make rental car money selling for more than MSRP because people don't want to pay extra for rental cars. It's kind of a weird thing. So that one was really, really good. Now we're on the fourth one and this one's gonna be the sickest one yet. They're actually only going to build two of them in this particular spec. So I was approved to get the one. I don't know who else is getting the other one. Probably someone else that's car famous. I'm not sure, but I think it's a good opportunity. Sick Vantage. I know, actually, it is. Is it? Yeah, I want to buy one of these. Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to buy one of these. I want to buy this today. Came for a US, not for the Vantage. <laughs> no, we're coming. We're getting a Urus too, but I thought Vantage is. I don't know if it's affordable, if it's like a. God, this is always locked. They don't even fucking work here. Anymore. So what do you guys think of this Vantage? Cop or drop? Cop or drop? Personally, for me, I'll definitely get this car.
We're in the new configurator room at Lamborghini Las Vegas. They had to go through a massive overhaul. And we haven't really ordered a new car since you've done that. I mean, we have, but I usually just do it through text and this time it's special because this is a car for myself. And those cars, I just take a little bit more time in order because they have more than one option on them. So, George, welcome back Thank to the videos. You know, I haven't seen you in a while. Although, uh, you've been working silently in the shadows. Very hard for us. Uh, all the new Lambos we have is only because of George, so we always have to congratulate You're responsible you. for the Evos? Yeah, you're oh. responsible for all the Evos. All but one. All but the purple one. But I'll give, you, I'll give you credit for the purple one because the purple one's really cool. And, you know, I think that color exists because of guys like you spec in really cool colors. Thank you. You know? I'm not so the one that <laughs> Today we are going to do a... Can you explain this to me? Because um, there's two options here. What's going on? So this is the new configurator. This is the new, they call it the Pro Capsule. It's got some different seats inside, some different wheels, a couple different things. The, the so that one's preset. Yep, it's preset. And when you go to the configurator, they're all going to be preset. But this one is the Urus. This one's the Pro Capsule. And once you click in it, you can change any options. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, let's start. What's the, the difference between the Pro Capsule and the Urus? Like I said, there's a couple different things here. You get these, let me back out of here. Sorry, I just know it's going to get brought up, so... So the Pro Capsule is going to have different wheels. See the green liner on the wheel? Mm -hmm. The interior, you get the seat bolsters are colored rather than the seat insert. And then the roof is going to be black. Let me click on this so you can see it a little bit better. That's pretty sporty. Mm -hmm. Very sporty. I particularly love the, the seats. The seats are awesome. If you remember in the other Urses, the inserts here were green and the edges were black. Which looks really cool. Mm -hmm. And now they've reversed it. And see the exterior. See. We got the wheels with a line around it, and the roof is all black. Let's be honest, this was Lamborghini's plan the whole time. Lamborghini, the has, Lamborghini has a plan. They always have a plan. They're doing, they're doing a good job. They're doing a better job. They are. Right? Uh, back in the day, the Aventador looked so ugly with the, just the center, you know, different color, and the rest of it all black. But 2017, when the S came out, they gave that beautiful color around the seat and all black with just that red stripe just looks so nice. Now they're doing the same thing with their Urus, but uh, so what do we got here? It's 40. There's like six different ones, yeah? There's like six, six different ones and they're all preset. Uh, but at the end of the day, you can go in there and you can, so there's Pro Capsule, there's a yellow one. Yeah, I saw them, I saw them over here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Elios elegance. With, a, with a gray interior here. Modern luxury, nice. So these are all just, they want to do some ideas. It's never be straight time, standard. Stick that one. <laughs> Let's look on the standard. We're gonna go standard. We're gonna go standard today. We're gonna just upgrade it a little bit. So here, paint. Paint is going, there's a lot of options now. Blue Cepheus Urus. I kind of don't like it. I don't like it either. I think it looks like a, like a, Comment section, fish. do you like it? We have one coming. Oh. Really? Now, with most of, I mean, again, we're in the standard configuration. If you get out there and you change the wheels, the black point, please, you put even Let's get some, let's get the better wheels Wait, let's pause there. on this for a second. Quick question for you, George. Did you ever end up selling Gigi's Evo? I did end up selling Gigi's Evo. Yeah? yeah? Less or more? What do you mean? Like, for more or for I less? Oh, all right. Well, it was worth a try. But I can say the guy is very, very happy with it. He loves it very Shout out, Gigi. Thank you. All right, so we'll go. We'll just put the better wheels on there, so we can get a better look at the options here. I really like Arancio Borales. It's a beautiful color on the earth. That's that's up there with the uh, holy crap. Um, this map paint's cool too. A dark like blue paint. Those kinds of really? Who's specking your? Am I specking these cars? We do this team. Wow. I feel like I've influenced you though. Like I swear I had to. Because no before, I mean, it was just totally odd. What is this, Anteros? This is a deeper to be red? With you, I haven't seen this red before. I can't, I can't speak to what it's going to look like compared to your red one. And the configurator doesn't really give it. No, but it looks, ex look, that looks exactly the same. Viola. I, I, here's what I do know. Know. It's metallic. So uh, that's the difference. Yours so shiny was shiny. Let's get that facial expression. I like, I like the, I like 
Viola Pacifé is kind of like my color right now. It's uh, the color I wrapped my Gallardo. It's the color we just got the new Evo in. And it's a front runner for the color of uh, our current order bank. So let's go through, but the problem with this color here is the interior. Because when you go with the interior, you, you've only really got two options. Like white, black, I guess you can go purple, right? Purple on red, let's do it. It's not gonna show me. What do you think, purple on red? Actually not that bad. I think it's, it's heavy, heavy on the contrast, but. It's too heavy, yeah. It's uh, this, is yellow interior, beige. Ew. Oh my god. Uh, white looks the best, I think, on the purple. Black switching on the red. It's actually going to give you the honeycomb here. And yeah. when you click on the color and hit invert it, this is going to all turn black. Yeah. You're going to get white up here, black here, black here, white stitching on the steering wheel. It's going to basically flip the stitching color. There you go. We're going to get black in the middle. And then, do we have, um, what is this? Uh, uh, steering wheel, yes or no? <laughs> so, I would at least do the perforated leather. Do you want this to be like just a leather wrapped steering wheel, or do you want it to be sporty with some perforation? Is there carbon steering wheel options no, yet? No, you can do suede, perforated, or heat. The perforated leather is not bad. Um, I think, man, I don't remember. What did I do with my red or white ones? We did perforated. Did we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll keep that. What does that say? That's the fully electric seats. Basically what that's telling you is not that, if you don't click that, it's not that you won't get an electric seat. That's gonna give you ventilated in the session mm -hmm. So, 3100 bucks. It's a nice option. Yeah. Definitely click in below your headrest to give you the black holes in the headrest. Yeah, I'll go a little better. Man, I really, really like this four seat configuration stuff. I think it's so cool. I really, really do. Um, it looks so much better, personally. And you get this in the back, you get that view, you know? The One of the down, issues I hate with that is the car seats. They don't fit. They don't. And the other downside is you can't fold those seats down. So you lose a lot of car space. Yeah. Which I don't really ever use, but it's just those rear seats to recline, they're super comfortable. I just, the problem is, is that I always have car seats in the back of my car, you know? So, I guess for now, don't forget the belts you can make them white too. Uh, I'm actually a really big fan of this wood grain open pour thing. Um, and then I do kind of like this one too with the uh, Cucutera. Is this all called Cucutera? It's not. They call it, um, it's called an aluminum inlay, but it matches the Cucutera on the seat, so it looks kind of nice. Right below that too, you get that, that V, that aluminum V. Yeah. You can put that in black. We're definitely doing that. Um, I think. I'm gonna go no, no cute here. I really like how elegant this is right here. Just so like, it looks Mercedes to me. Yeah, it's so nice. I just, cause I, I, I when I did my red car, this wasn't an option. And so I only had two options. I had the one, I, I actually got that um, yeah. shiny stuff. And then I got the other one, the, the, the octagon thing. So now we're on British Entertainment, um, Bang & Olufsen. What, what happens if I don't get a sound system? You get the, the stock one, which is actually a pretty awesome system. Well, because I'm going to probably drive, see, this is a weird situation, because right now I'm in between cars, and so I was considering buying a Cullinan for a few months, and then uh, this car here when it comes in. So I'd have maybe one or two of them, you know, switch out Denise's car again. Okay. But I really want to put a Focal Utopia system in the car. And so I know that if I, the Bang & Olufsen 3D is 7,000, which is 
6,300. 6,100 bucks. It's not that good of a system. It's the best system I've ever heard about. Like, it's not that good. It's amazing. If you, my Mercedes system is way, like it shits on that one. Okay, the, <laughs> the Burmester 3D. I love that service system, but I, for, for the 6,300 bucks, the one that comes stock is actually pretty awesome too. Yeah. Off-road mode, you have to get that. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. My yellow one didn't have that. The one I bought from Hawaii. That's what I mean. So it's six hundred and thirty seven dollars. Yeah, of course. And you get two extra drive modes that it's gonna affect the resale value if you don't get it. This Absolutely. It's built to go off road. It's six hundred and thirty dollars. I just don't understand why that's even an option. How could it be an option? I think people that built this car understood that, that was an option. It shouldn't even be an option. It Wait, should be only for six hundred dollars more you got two modes, actually. The, the two yeah. extra drive modes. Yeah. I would not anyone would I get that. Um, with a white interior, ambient lighting is going to be awesome. Of course. You change that to yeah. purple. So where are we going to get this black? Uh, you want to go to, it should be in there, it should be in one of those. This one? This one? This one? Try the, um, the one that looks like it has a carbon fiber on it. There you go. And it should be under. Oh, we can do carbon. Uh, okay, so what's big? So big is everything. The vents, uh, the whole dash, right then around the stereo system. It's all going to be carbon fiber. Right. The small one is only if you get the four seater. So that's the difference. But I don't want this in carbon. I want that in wood. Right. And um, put that back in wood. Oh, it says right here. I'm going to in black. I didn't even see it. Yeah. Inserts in camera black. Interesting. Interesting. What does that look like? That's a, that's a, that's the standard one. So where you chose this beautiful wood right here, it's going to be piano wood instead, which is just a shiny black. So they anodize the aluminum, or they give you this black piano wood. It's funny that they're both they they're both in the same section because when you just chose piano wood, it just changed. Oh, so it matches everything. It's, it's, it's kind of funny thing. the way it's in the same section here because it's talking about two different things. That's really cool. But at least we have this in black now. That looks super dope. And I like the contrast. Is this blue or gray? That it's, looks it's, blue. It's black, but it does look blue on the screen. It's gonna be blue. Look at how nice that is. We just made like the nicest one ever. I do pick the Sunshine package in some of the cars. It's only sixteen hundred bucks, and you get those automatic rear shades for the. How much is this? $12,000. Ooh, that's a good option. I don't know. I might get that option. I have, I already have my Rift. But it's nice to have it on the factory, like on the build sheet. Yeah, so how does that work out? Like how does a company like Rift, for example, get you don't. a build sheet with like AcroProvic? You don't. The AcroProvic, like they well, actually, probably- Well, to be honest with you right now, if you order the majority of these options right here, including the exhaust, you're gonna order it here in your car. I'm gonna submit it here, but it's gonna come separate from the car. It's not a factory installed option. Oh. It's a dealer installed option, so it won't even be on your list. Got it. Okay, what were you saying? Sunshine, what is this? Sunshine packages, those automatic rear shades in the back. Oh, hell yeah. So it's in the 16 car box. No, definitely in the I love it. Um, this one here is interesting. So here, here's what I think about those. The acoustic and heated glasses is interesting. They're expensive. They're a thousand bucks to 1500 bucks. But if you want to put ceramic tint on your car, it's going to do the same thing. Sure, yeah. You know, the acoustic is the only difference. You're going to get two panes of glass with a gel insert in the middle, kind of like a windshield. It's going to help keep out that road noise. But it also I had, I had, keeps out the exhaust noise, which I actually want to do. I actually had on the white one, and I didn't really notice a difference. I mean, it may be if you compare to back to back to back, right. sure, but I don't, I don't notice the difference. Purposes is what now? Um, so we have a new system where the car will park itself. Is it expensive? It's about 3300 bucks. I haven't used it yet. I haven't seen it in action, but one of the first cars that we're going to have it, so I'm going to make a video when we get to it. I mean, we've seen this technology before. We've had it. It's, it's been out for, what, eight years, nine years now? Yeah. But you know Lambo. They always, they wait. They're not always the first to come up with something, but when they come up with their version of it, it's always better than the 10 other versions that were before. What's a comfort package? It's a pillow and a blanket. It's a pillow and a blanket. It's really comfortable. It's a blanket. It's cashmere. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. Um, we definitely need a hate. All right, 
Uh, so what's your code? Uh, almost there. A, uh, AFD, five Baker, Frank. Oh, I didn't. Uh, man, I didn't see the count for calling the police. Where are they at? Here, where are they? Oh, right here. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's the best right There's here. something you missed here, too. So, you're okay with the orange caliber? I don't know. See, the orange or black. I think black is gonna look good. I think the silver standard ones are okay. Oh, table. I didn't do the. I didn't do the. No, I didn't do all the trim oh, on the outside. Right. You can make this black. Yeah, yeah. Here, we have to do all that. We missed this yep. section here. Can I write the roof? Do you want that? No. No. Because I want to put a starlight head on it. Okay. So, what's this? What's up with this? So the offer package is going to lift the front bumper a little bit. You're not going to have this piece. It's going to lift it. It's going to give you some. Uh, See what it looks like. It's going to give you some guards there, so that you know if your offer is going to rock it, so it's not going to damage your bumper. That's not good. Is it expensive? The black. Oh, do you have to pay for this? Yeah. Are you going to change this to black? Uh, I'm, I'm working on it, yeah. So those tailpipes look really good in black too, if you're going to get that black. So I believe we need to drop the purple all the way to the bottom by doing the rocker panels and the wheel arches. I don't think you can do the black right there in the front and the black side and black back. I think what you change this that is, This black, is independent. I saw that option. But I think once you click it, it's going to make the size black too. I'm not positive, but um, I don't know if I even like that. So let's look at the other options here. I mean, it, it, yours kind of looks really nice with this, you know, uh, black and everything, the black mirrors. Now it's going to give us black here, I assume, yeah, all black and black now. So if I put body color style package, it's going to drop purple and then do I still get black here? No. Uh, I think we're going to have to keep it like that. We're going to have to have some black on the car. Mm -hmm. we, you know, it's just got to be there. You know? How much is the full body carbon? 12,000, 13,000? 14,000 for the lower and 7,000 for the upper. So you look at the upper. Up. So the lower is the front part here, mm -hmm. the rocker panels. And so it's the front and the back and the back piece, right? The back bumper, the diffuser. The upper is going to be the wheel arches and your mirrors. For seven grand, for the wheel arches and mirrors. And in the back, you also have the spoiler too. Whoa, what a great deal with that spoiler. Is that a new option, the spoiler? The spoiler is, yep. You get a black body color or carbon black. The lower carbon one is an interesting option. Um, that one's 12. 14 dollars. Yeah, I'll probably just keep it, because what's the black? $2,000. Yeah, I think it's just better to do it that way now. I'm gonna put my own exhaust on it. So my Rift exhaust comes with carbon yeah. fiber tub tips. So why would I, $800 is just gonna put in the, you know, I'm just gonna throw them in the trash, you know? It's a pretty nice looking truck, huh? It is really nice. Mm -hmm. Um, did we miss anything? Did you do the black mirrors too? I did. Did you want to do a black spoiler? It, it came on there. It did? Yeah, that black, um, I saw it on there. Uh, no, it's actually purple. Is it black or purple? I can't tell. I don't know. I don't think it's well I, I, I have a carbon fiber spoiler that we're going to put on there. Because we, as Rift, we make the wheel arches, uh, the spoiler, and uh, I make the entire bottom. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to put the bottom on because I kind of like it black. And then we, we make these things right here, but I like the black too. It looks better. Alright, so roof, I'm going to do starlight, so we're going to keep the full roof. 
Um, I think we got all of it, right? Or did we not? Interior went through all these things. Mm -hmm. Why not purple? Pretty fresh. Okay, so, all right, so new code. My code is AFD 5 u That was very successful. Probably the best spec to Eurus on the market right now. It's not on the market yet because it's not coming for eight more months, but. All right, everyone. So we've made it to the end of the video and you know what that means. It means that it's giveaway time. So we've had about a few thousand people enter into this week's giveaway. It was insane. You guys absolutely crushed the like button. And thank you for following the instructions. Um, with all that being said, unfortunately, we can only pick three winners for this week's giveaway. So, winner number one is going to be Crow's Cat, T-R-O-S-E, Cat. Winner number two is going to be J Starks underscore 392. And winner number three is going to be H underscore Harris 36. Congratulations to you three. You guys are the winners of the new snapbacks. For those of you who did not win and you actually do like our snapbacks, go ahead and go to our website at shop.rotakesautocars.com and use the code TAKE20 to get you one of the new snapbacks at a discounted rate. And if you guys want to enter next week's giveaway, all you have to do is leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and just DM us a picture. That's it. With all that being said, we'll see you in the next one.